Ian Anderson says he's thankful Jethro Tull, like Led Zeppelin, never chased the singles. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Jethro Tull only had two hit singles in the U.S. in their entire 50-year history, Living in the Past in 1969 and Bungle in the Jungle from 1974. They had six in the U.K., Love Story, Living in the Past, Sweet Dreams, The Witch's Promise, Life is a Long Song, and another go with Living in the Past in 1993. They sold over 60 million records without chasing the singles. Well, we, we recorded a few tracks which were released as singles, mostly in the U.K., um, and then got swept up later on on uh, compilation albums. The albums tended not to be based around the, the being a single, certainly in the early part of the 70s, and, and we weren't alone in that. I mean, Led Zeppelin famously never released a single. I mean, they, they got lots of radio play on individual tracks. They didn't need to focus people's mind on one particular song. It got played anyway, and that was... That was evident to me that uh, for bands like Jethro Tull and Led Zeppelin, you know, we could exist in a in a slightly um, more rarefied world where we didn't have to follow the rules of, of commercial record making that were applicable to pop groups and perhaps some even some rock bands. I mean, it's hard to imagine Rod Stewart or Elton John having um, not very deliberately, you know, come out with singles to promote their work and getting back then as it was AM radio play was a big part of, of um, building your popularity. But it, it wasn't a big deal for Zeppelin or for us. You know, we 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 were FM radio people. We were AOR uh, radio stations played our stuff, and that's how it worked. We'll have more of our chat with Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull coming up next Tuesday. Make sure you share our video, subscribe to our channel and comment on our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.